Got my man Kellen McCoy in the house. What's up? Crack a lacking. You're going to have to have some fun in here. So <laughs> loose it up, baby. Loose it up. Man, he's about this short, but you won't be able to tell it once you get out there and once you're playing against him. He will give you everything you can handle. And I'm sitting there like, I ain't never met a little dude that can give me everything I can handle. When he went to go see me for the first time, he heard yeah. all about me. And- um, read the newspaper with his dad and said I was six foot. Yeah. <laughs> and he, and he, came to, he came to the game and he's like, well, where's he at? Where's he at? And then he saw me. He's like, he ain't six foot. He's six foot. I'm six five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's, you know, you, you understand. And as a coach, you know, it helps you understand more. Like, I get it. That's their daughter. That's their <laughs> son. Like, I understand why they're mad he's not playing. Or I understand that he's not getting a shot or, you know, or if somebody just tack tack with a kid. Like, I get it. That's their baby. <laughs> Let's talk about Peach Jam for a minute, right? You touched a little bit about you talked a little bit about uh, Team Griffin. First of all, what is Peach Jam? Because that's new to me. I ain't know about Peach Jam until probably when you want it. So yeah, yeah. Talk to me about it. Talk to us. Okay, so I, know, I always say this when, when Dane first came on his visit and I saw him. I was like, man, he, he got a chance to, to be really good. He, he, he got a chance to make it to the NBA. Okay, he was he was skilled. He had that that mentality. He was, he a, was big, special. He was a big guard. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I, I thought he had a chance to, to be successful now. And, uh, Shout out Dame Lillard. Come on the show, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell Kellen to call you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had always had the mentality that nobody was going to be able to tell me that I can't do something that I want to do. That's true. You know what I mean? Like, if, if you want to do it bad enough, make it happen. Make it happen. Put in the work. Figure out what you need to do to, to, to get that. Figure out what you need to do to get to where you want to be. When I came out of college, I was in a weird time because the, um, was my first year or my second year. I think it was my second year was when the NBA was on that lockout. Oh. And so, so everybody, everybody was locked out. All these NBA dudes are going over and, and making money while they're in the campaign. That's a NBA. weird time for so, real. Yeah. I got on my phone, I see it's the, the owner calling me, and I'm like, shoot. And the team owner. Yeah, team yeah, owner. Yeah, because they real hands on over there. And, uh, and I answer, and he's like, hey, um, What's that? Like, what's, what's wrong? What's, I mean, are y'all sending me home? He's like, let's just meet in the morning. He wouldn't, wouldn't give me the answer. Yeah. Let me not win, but let me just extend this one more week so I can get one more check. You know what I mean? Yeah, boy. So, right. oh, yeah, so yeah, we, ended up, boy. we ended up losing four to two, but I got those two extra checks. Yeah, yeah, it so, um, <laughs> yeah, so that so ended up going home. Um, and I, and I, I would have went back to that club, that club to play. Um, but I had some coaching opportunities. And I struggled being away from my daughter um, for such a long time because it was, you know, it's nine months out of the year you're gone. So you come back for a couple months and it's right back to it. So uh, I, I made the decision to get the coaching. Uh, it's been <laughs> a while. This? It's been a while. Utopia. Since I got right <laughs> Zimbabwe. Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> my people. 